Uh, good evening. I hope you had a very good Valentine's Day um, with your loved one um, and his loved one, not loved ones. Um, some of you are still in the act of actually um, showing your love um, over a very delicious evening meal. Enjoy yourselves. My name is Sam. Um, I am a, an elder at Northside and I'm going to be giving the devotion for today. This devotion is based on what Pastor Berry preached on Sunday, the 11th of uh, February. He used the verses in Jude, verses 8 to 16. Now, these verses talk about false teachers and false prophets. I'm going to define these two uh, right at the beginning. A false teacher advocates a different doctrine, different from what the Bible teaches. And false teaching may take many forms and some false teachers deny God's existence completely, while others will teach error about the nature of God and his attributes. And then on the other hand, false prophets claim that they have the gift of prophecy or they have divine inspiration or they actually can speak to God and some some you may have uh, heard of, uh, on, on social media that there is some false prophets who even said they had breakfast with God. Now the aim of both false teachers and false prophets is to lead people astray really mainly for their evil ends. False teachers and false prophets are everywhere. Internationally, um, they are found in every nation and all on earth. They are in every tribe and every race in every country uh, and also black or white or yellow. They are everywhere. Now, brethren, contending for our faith in Jesus and in Jesus alone is not an option. We must fight the good fight of faith and protect what we have in Jesus. False teachers will creep in unnoticed into the church. Some actually begin as powerful preachers but soon they are overtaken by pride, many coming from human praise, and um, some for personal gain, they then drift away from the truth. Other false teachers, they come in secretly. Now, let's read from 2 Peter 2, verses 1 to 3. In fact, Peter, 2 Peter devotes a whole chapter to who the false prophets and false teachers are. But we'll just read from verse, verses 1 to 3. But false teachers also arose amongst the people, just as there will be false teachers among you you will who will secretly bring in destructive heresies even denying the master who bought them bringing upon themselves sweet swift destruction and many many people will follow their sexuality and because of them the way of truth will be blasphemed and in their greed they will exploit you with false words and their condemnation from long ago is not idle and their destruction is not asleep. False prophets do come 
um, <clears throat> in a very cunning way. Many of these false, false teachers are not likely to be despised. You are not likely to hate them or even ridicule them. They are smart, they are likable, they are popular, and they are easy to follow. And they will, many will follow them. Because they have so many uh, followers, they build mega churches. And they may even own TV channels and radios and they may dominate even the social media. And they amass a lot of wealth and most of this is donation from their followers. They will even build hospitals, they will even build schools and universities and many other institutions to be seen to be caring for the communities. Meanwhile, they are milking and sucking their members dry. You have even heard of miracle monies, you have even heard of seeding of properties and there will be, there, there are miracles, miracle pencils and uh, miracle babies and miracle bricks and all these are aimed at convincing their followers that they can make money. But instead, it is them who are actually making money. And they use this money that they get from their followers to build big mansions and big, they buy expensive cars and even helicopters. Brethren, do not be deceived. No matter what it seems like, false teachers do not have God in them. They will only create division in the church. And the Bible even warns us way beforehand. Even Christ talk, talked about it. Uh, let's look at it from Mark 13. Christ said in Mark uh, 13 verse 22, For false Christs and false prophets will arise and perform signs and wonders to lead you astray, if possible, even the elect may be led astray. Be be on guard and Jesus says I have told you all these things beforehand so when you when these things happen you know he has said it he has warned us beforehand false teachers are very cunning they are masters at disguising themselves they are very manipulative and they move around as if they are true believers. But their faith, their faith is not real. Even though they may look like legitimate followers of Christ. In fact, some of these false teachers and false prophets are in our churches. And they even have the titles of apostles. And some of them are just are even pastors. Jesus has warned us beforehand. And again, I will read from Matthew 7. Matthew 7, starting from verses uh, 7 to 15. Now, starting from verse 15 uh, on to verse 20. Beware of false prophets who come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly are ravenous wolves. You will recognize them 
bear their fruits. Are grapes gathered from thorn bushes or figs from thistles? So every health tree bears good fruit, but the diseased tree bears bad fruit. A healthy tree cannot bear bad fruit, nor can a diseased tree bear good fruit. Every tree that does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire. And this is what is going to happen to all the false teachers and false prophets. Their destruction is going to be big. Who is, who is it that the, these false teachers and false prophets are targeting? They mainly target the spiritually naive Christians, the weak Christians. They also target the newly born again who are not yet well established, who are still babies because they haven't established themselves on the word yet. So the warning is very clear and the Bible wants us not to remain babies in Christ. So for you and I, we should be thirsting and drinking from the word daily. We should be meditating on the word daily. <clears throat> As it is written in jo Joshua 1 verses 8 and 9, This book of the law shall not depart from your mouth, but you shall meditate on it day and night, so that you may be prosperous. Thank you for listening this evening. I hope you take this seriously because false teachers and false prophets are smooth talkers and they can easily lead you and I astray. Continue in the word, be grounded in the word always. Thank you. Good evening.